a rainy day at Bramwell Cottage. Made a bit grim, really. What's even worse is that I don't have my wife with me, Jill. She's off on her holidays. She's doing a grand world tour of Scotland. So today, all by myself, doing a project called drywall. Drywall, plaster porting, dry lining, all sorts of different names. But I'll be in the front room. Uh, Jill and I stripped off the as much plaster as we could, as much wallpaper as we could. That was done a few days ago. And this is going to be a big surprise for Jill because she has no idea that I'm doing it. So let's see how it goes. It'll be a long day. There's nobody at home to make my tea. I've got two important challenges ahead of me before I can even start work. Number one is prepare dinner for this evening. So today will be a bit of a cookery lesson as well. I'm cooking beef rendang, one of my favorite dishes. It's from Malaysia, well, that's where I had it at least the first time. It won't be anywhere near as authentic as it is over in, in Malaysia, but it'll do the job this evening when I'm tired and hungry. And the second job is my five kilometer run. I made a vow a few weeks ago to try and do it every single Saturday morning. Close to us here in the cottage, there's a, it's called a park run. So every Saturday morning they meet at nine o'clock. You can walk, you can run, you can jog, you can do anything you want as long as you get across the finish line, the five kilometers. Uh, once a month, uh, a cancer group meets there. Sadly for me, that's the end of the month. Next week, the end of the month, I'll be away on a business trip in, in Germany and Austria, so I'll miss it. But this will this will be my third time. I've got to get there early. So I, I can't stay here talking all day. Time is money. I've got a quick cup of coffee. A pre-breakfast breakfast of um, dark chocolate biscuits. And dark chocolate is more healthy than, than normal chocolate. So I'm making healthy choices. Let me drink the coffee, show you the beef right now, and then I've got to get going. Bye for now. Time for breakfast. Today is a drywall day. I'll be in the living room putting up drywall. All by myself. It's good that I've got some, nobody interrupting me. But it's bad that I've got nobody interrupting me. Here I am. I've got a healthy breakfast. I've got cereal, semi skim milk, fruit, and coffee but nobody to share it with. The sun is shining, life is good, but it could be better if Jill was here. I spent the last few years as a problem solver in my job, and for every problem there's a solution. So I came up with one. It's not exactly perfect, but it's not bad. All right then, dear, sit yourself down. Right. Can I have you a coffee? No. She's not saying much today. Gives me more of a chance to talk. So the day started well. It was raining when I woke up. I got here on time. I got my, my tea cooking in the kitchen. Be friend dang, it's starting to smell really good already. I've been for, for my run. The time wasn't too bad. I think it was about the same as last week. Um, I met a, a chap who's uh, sadly been diagnosed with prostate cancer. I never met him before and had a talk with him and made him feel a little bit better about things. So life is, life is good. 
I've got German coffee or Bavarian coffee. This coffee is from Munich. It's a brand called Dahlmeier. I don't get any sponsorship, but for me, it's the the best coffee that that I've drunk in a long time. Drunken, drunken. What a word is that? Smell of coffee, smell of beef rendang, sun shining, warmth on my back. Jill's not saying much. What could be better? All right, so to the work at hand. First thing I have to do is I have to finish taking off the skirting board. I'll have to, to disconnect the, the electric sockets. And once that's done, I'll put some battens up and then put the, the plasterboard on. It's easy to say, it's only two or three sentences, but it's quite a few hours of work ahead. So I best not stay talking too long because the work won't get done by itself and I haven't got Jill to push me and I haven't got Jill to help me. So it's all on me today. So off with the camera for now, on with my breakfast, Next stop, we'll be in the, in the back room working. Bye for now. First job, sweep up the mess. As you know by now, I do like a bargain and I don't like waste. Table saw here behind me, somebody was throwing it out. So we agreed on a, a very good price for used table saw. It's not new, it's not young, but like myself really, it's more than middle-aged, but it gets the job done. So I bought this one. And I went to the tip the other day to get rid of some buckets of mortar and lo and behold there was a, a person there and she was throwing away a load of timber. So I came up with a win-win situation. She was there by herself with a carload of timber to unload. I was there by myself with an empty car having just unloaded. So I said what about if I were to take some of this timber off of your hands and in return I'll help you unload the rest and throw it away good deal for both of us. So the timber there will be used in the project inside. You'll see what I'm going to do with it later on. But let me get on with the work.
can't remember now whether this all cost 25 or 30 pounds. It was bought with the proceeds from the Buy Me Coffee donations. Uh, not so long ago, Jane Pierce very kindly donated some money to our Buy Me a Coffee Fund for me to go for, for Jill to go and buy me some beer. I do enjoy beer. I do enjoy whiskey as well. I do enjoy a good Bel Belgian bun. But those are things that we pay for out of our pockets. Anytime that any of you give money to us, everything goes onto the house or to tools that we need for the house. It would have been really easy to go out and buy a brand new sparkly circular saw or table saw. But you need to do the right thing. And looks like so far I've done the right thing. 25 or 30 pounds well spent. Enough talking, on with the work. Well oh dear, this is going to be my first cut. I've got no idea how it will go, so maybe it will be edited out of the, uh, the video. But you, over in the corner, out of the way, and I'll get on. I've looked at the videos on YouTube. You can never trust what you see on YouTube. Take this channel as an example. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make a line where you want to cut. There's the line. Then you're supposed to score the paper. Like 
that. And then, according to the great videos that I've watched, all you seem to do is go behind it, and it goes like that. And then you come behind with your knife and just score down the back. Well, that was easy. Unfortunately, Doing this on my own is a difficult job because these things, they weigh 50 pounds each. So, and they, they break very easily. So I'm not sure how I'm going to turn it around to get it on the wall. But, gotta have a go somehow. So let's, It's difficult to turn because it's exactly the height of the room. I need to think about this for a few minutes. The camera's been off for about half an hour and I've come up with an invention. It's completely mine. I didn't Google it, I didn't YouTube it. So if it works, I take the credit. If it doesn't work, then I'm 100% accountable. Let's give, it ain't pretty, but maybe it'll do the job. Let's see. First of all, the idea is we lift it up like this. Now I haven't tried this, so this could go terribly wrong and you could all get a laugh at my expense. So we lift it up, like so, and then I lift the sheetrock shape onto it, like so, and then hopefully I lay it down. So, lots of sew in here. So far, so good. Then the next step is, or will be, to shovel it over. Shovel, is that a real word or is it something like that? Oh, closer to the job site. Right?
time for lunch. As you can see, a smiley Cornish pasty. As soon as I turned the camera off in the other room, I panicked. I looked down at the electric cables and thought, oh no, one of these cables came from behind the plasterboard, but the other one was in front and needed to be behind. So I panicked, undo the screws, sorry, un undo, undid the screws, pulled the plasterboard off, pushed the cable, the second cable up behind the, the plasterboard, got them both coming through the hole, screwed the plasterboard back on again. And as I finished, I realized that I, I panicked over nothing because Earlier in the day, I had, with the angle grinder, I chased out a groove from where the socket's going to be down to the floor, so there would have been easy enough room to, to push the cable up. But that's what happens when you get tired and hungry. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to eat this. Cornish pasty, tomato sauce, and some lemonade life get any better. Well yeah it could. It could if it was a beer but I got the car out there and I need to go driving later on so lemonade will be fine for the moment. Right camera off. Food time. I've just spent the last half an hour getting this stuff off. I'll have to speak to Jill. She didn't finish the job off. Not a happy Bob, but I'm not going to be finishing the job off either. I've just been looking at how much sheet uh, plasterboard I have, and for me to, to do this bit here, I need to cut a big sheet in half, and that's wasteful because I've got enough big sheets to finish the wall over there. So, what I'll do now, I'll put these battens up. And a couple of battens across there and then I'll call it a day. I started tripping over a lot so it means I'm tired so uh, as the famous saying goes safety never takes a holiday so just put these few up and I'm done. <laughs> Tools away, and then let's have a quick chat. It's eight o'clock in the evening. I started at 11 this morning. Took about an hour's worth of breaks. So, eight hours of solid work. It's not too bad when you're young. It's not so bad when you do it every day for your job. But when you sit on your backside all day long at a keyboard, then it comes hard. It also comes with a big reward. Big reward is that we've made a start now. 
I'm putting the place back together. It's hard when I'm alone. Nowhere near as much fun. I can work longer, but I don't laugh the same. Hopefully you'll find something to laugh at in this video because there have been a few things. Um, tripped over a few times. I'm glad that I didn't have the camera on when I realized that I needed to rip off the sheet of plasterboard quickly before the glue set. But the best thing of all is I've got my tea ready. So all I need to do is go and have a shower. I'll probably have a bath. No, I best not have a bath because if I get stuck in the bath, there's nobody to help me out. I'll have a good shower and then I'll have my tea, my beef and then and one or two cold beers. Well earned today, I think. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe because we're getting up there now, close to 900. So any more that we can get are gratefully appreciated. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye for now.